Hi everyone, Menachem Brody here from Human Vortex Training here from Big Bang Bicycles, uh, Pittsburgh's premier bicycle shop. So we're um, here to talk today about the Seidel bag, what you should put in it, uh, what's important to have with you, and why. So the first thing is choosing a Seidel bag. Uh, I really like the Physique um, and the Arundel. Those are the two brands that I've used. Um, they're very nice. They're waterproof. Uh, you're able to open them. You can see there's a little bit of a waterproof lining in there as well. Um, so really it's going to keep everything that you need uh, nice and dry regardless of the weather. Now, uh, within the saddlebag, it's important to have uh, at least uh, three or four items. We're going to say four. Um, the first thing is going to be a spare tube, um, which you want to take out of the box. This is a Von Trager tube. Um, so when you have this, uh, you do not want to put this in the box into your saddlebag. It will take up a little bit of space. Um, something that is important, when you have the tube in there without the box, you may actually run into some problems where when you have a multi-tool in there, which we'll talk about in a moment, you may actually have um, a, a scratching or wearing of the rubber and increase your likelihood for having a flat later on. So it's important that if you do have a saddlebag uh, with a, a tool in it, a multi-tool, wrap the tool into a sock, an old sock, just tie the sock down or cut it um, just to give some cloth so that there's no sharp edges. So this is our Park Tool IB2. This is a um, a small multi-tool as you can see it's about the size of uh, my first two fingers there uh, it's very nice when I commute on my single speed bike I generally like to keep it in my pocket instead of in my bag uh, and this comes with a bunch of useful tools including a star key and we have a flathead screwdriver here and then we have allen key which is useful for everything uh, on the bike as you can see there um, and you can use them for for a number of things uh, on the bike so really useful to have this in case you get a flat so we already have a spare tube and we have a multi-tool, but the question is, uh, if you have a spare tube in there, how are you going to inflate it? Uh, so one of the things that's really nice is you can get these CO2 inflators, which Big Bang Bicycles has had branded for them. Um, these are going to roughly um, pump you up on to a 120 PSI if you have a uh, road tire 700 by 23. Now you can't just use the cartridge. There are a bunch of different products out there including the Ravex here. And You'll notice this part right here has uh, it screws down to the top and just like when you open a can of soda that will puncture the cartridge uh, and allow the carbon dioxide to come out. Um, so the CO2 cartridge uh, is going to inflate your tire very quickly, uh, which is excellent to have if you're in a rush. There's also something called a frame pump, which we do not have offhand right now. The frame pumps are very nice because uh, you can sit there and you can pump it up and you can make sure the tube isn't flattened uh, or doesn't have a, a puncture in it. Uh, if you miss something, you're not replacing a second tube and getting very frustrated on the side of the road. And that's for if you have a clencher tire. If you have um, tubulars, but those tires are glued onto the bike. So we have what's called Pit Stop by Vittoria. And what this is, it is CO2 and sealant all in one. Um, so this is something you would want to carry instead of the carbon dioxide um, uh, cartridge if you have a tubular tire. Uh, if you're not sure, if you're able to get your tire off of the, the rim with uh, tire levers, which you should always carry three of, they sell them in threes because they anticipate that possibly one of them will break. Um, so if you, you are able to get your tire off and there's a tube on the inside, uh, that is a clincher tire. Whereas if the tire is glued to the wheel, uh, that is a tubular tire because it is a tube of fabric encoded with um, rubber on one side and uh, with uh, uh, fabric on the other that is glued to the wheel. Uh, what we want in our saddlebag, again, you don't need the biggest saddlebag in the world. Uh, this is the Physique. I use this one or the Arundel. It's very small, compact. It actually clips on to the back of some of the Physique saddles. Uh, they're made for it. So in this saddlebag, which is waterproof, I have my small multi-tool with at least uh, a three, four, five, and six Allen key. Uh, I generally like to have a screwdriver as well on there, a uh, flathead. You have at least one tube that's going to go in there, three tire levers, and then a CO2 cartridge or two with the inflator. So that's the general uh, for packing away your saddlebag, why it's important and what you should have in it. So remember, train smarter, not harder, ride safe, ride smart, and it's all about you.